morning. It's dark ish. 4 30, Tuesday the 6th of uh, August. And I'm in Lycra because I'm just about to start from London to Paris. Actually, no, it's not London to Paris, it's Crowbar to Montages, but the distance is the same, and we do just trip Paris. So, this is our video log of doing it. There's three of us doing it. Why are we doing it? Raise a bit of money for the school. Uh, we've had donations coming in, which we're pretty chuffed with. We're not really cyclists, so it's a bit of a gamble. But then we have done a bit of training. Anyway, time for breakfast. And then we'll be off. We're off. Where's Wes? There he is. <laughs> well, that's Crowbar Hill done. First, first stop is New Haven. 27 miles down there. Need to be down there for the eight something ferry. Yeah, all right, let's find out what we got to do. Off the ferry, en route to our first stop of Don Pierre and Bray. Luckily the road was closed and we're on the most best cycle route ever. For those of you that are wanting to do the London to Paris, you need to find the Donald Hurst route because it's just a load of empty pathways where you can absolutely belt your bike down there with no cars and just a load of really friendly French people. Anyway, there's Wesley. Hello Wesley. Hello. We have <laughs> Hello, got Facebook. to get we have got to get some miles under our wheels. Bye. <laughs> this is what I mean about the Donald Hurst route into Paris if you can find your way. No, no, no. Hang on. I'm video. We have 24 kilometers of unbroken path where you can go as fast or as slow as you like. Whoop! Super Steve putting in the miles. Here he comes. Day one finished. Managed to get down to Dampien in Bray. Uh, not a tough day, quite a good day. Uh, what did we do? About 110 kilometres, I think, 111 kilometres. Really good ride, good weather, 
good company, bikes did well, and uh, we followed that um, Donald Hirsch route, which is which is pretty good. You 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 got to stick on that route. Anyway, found ourselves a nice b, &B. I will put a description of the b, b and the details of it in the link below uh, because the guy is an amazing host. We've had a fantastic meal. Uh, we've had some pretty good wine. And uh, yeah, it's been a, it, 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 it's a good little find. So it's worth, uh, it's worth checking this place out. It's a lovely little country uh, farmhouse, typical French. We've got a good... We've got a good room. Uh, we did have three beds in one room, but actually he's um, very generously given us the entire top floor so we can cho choose our beds. Good flat, good showers, nice and clean. And uh, we've rolled out our legs, so we're all rested. And uh, get up tomorrow, have breakfast, clean the bikes, service the bikes. And we've got about another 120 kilometers to do tomorrow down to Guyane Court. And then, uh, and then follow on to Montages. Sorry if my pronunciation of the French names is not quite perfect, but I have had some Van Rouge. Okay, I will uh, check in tomorrow. Where's, where are we being led to? So these are the oh, wow. that we had with our <gasps> food earlier. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I haven't. I only had, I only had a tiny one. No, no, I only had a little one. I haven't, I haven't had two. It was tiny. Yeah, yeah. I, I need more. I'm happy to go. you need more. Yeah, I need more. I only had a tiny, tiny bit of Calvados. The second time, you want to come on a photo, Jean? Come on, come on, photo. Come here. Everybody, come in. Come here. Show the love. Right, ready? Yeah. Hang on, hang on, this is a video. On your left, on your left. Yes. I'm doing yeah. Yeah. What happened to the music? What happened to the music? Oh, oh fuck. Can do oh, no, do you. Do it. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, That's the end of the video. Morning. In the words of the Fast Show, for those of you who remember the Fast Show, day two. Woken up in Dompierre and Bray, and this is what we've woken up to. Uh, Wesley ended up sleeping elsewhere. That was my bed. And as you can see, for those people who love bikes, we actually slept with our bikes. Uh, just a quick note, for those of you that are on mad on bikes, Wesley, no, that is Sean's bike, which is a Kinesis, cross light, seriously good bit of kit. That is what I'm on, a little Trek de Marne SLR6. Uh, I absolutely love it. I might do a little review on that later. Uh, and I don't know where Wes has gone. He's on a he's on a kinesis as well. Anyway, this is the room we've woken up to. Fantastic little room. Don't know where Sean is. Done the washing. And that is the view. Wow. You couldn't really wake up to much more enjoyment than that it is absolutely beautiful this little place as i said yesterday i'm going to put a little link so anybody who wishes to stay here the host is fantastic the food is fantastic he had some great selections of wine and that is our view anyway time for breakfast fuel up got to service the bikes and today we are doing the leg from Dompierre and Bray down to, I can't remember where we're going, where are we going? Uh, uh, Guillain Court, about 120 kilometres I think. So we just, do we skip Paris? Yeah, we just skip the edge of Paris, go through Versailles, Versailles and yeah, should be a good day. Weather is looking pretty fantastic, hopefully no rain, look at that. Beautiful sky. Perfect day for riding. See you later. Just set off. Beautiful day. Bit of cloud cover, sun poking through. Clouds keeping the temperature from being too hot. We've uh, plotted our route on Ride with GPS. 
and I spent quite a while plotting all the back roads, keeping us off as many main roads as possible. And the payoff is this. Beautiful French countryside, beautiful French roads, no traffic. It's just a joy to ride in France. Absolutely love it. Not sure where Wes is. We've had a couple of uh, puncture issues, but because we're running with the uh, sealant, they managed to repair themselves. What would we do without it? All right, get some miles in and stop for coffee. We are on this road for eight miles. What a little gem. We've already been on it for about four miles. No cars, barrier, no cars. Absolute joy. So, just as we thought it couldn't get any worse, we are pretty much uh, kind of two punches in, a few rough roads, we end up on this. We are en route, we are en route. Just uh, not what we expected, not much more of this left. Update you guys soon. Evening. Now that, that is a tan line. End of day two, Poof, what a day. 80 miles in the saddle, uh, 10 hours of riding. We had literally everything thrown at us terrain wise. We've had roads which were fantastic. We've had roads that turned into gravel roads. We've had roads that ended at a T-junction and sat and said to go straight on over a field, so we had to divert. We had roads that were lovely and ended up in a wood, and we had to walk half a mile through a wood where there were no roads. Apart from that, we went in a pretty dead straight line from um, Dompierre and Bray right down here to where we are now in the Ibis Hotel in Guyane Court. It was an adventure. So we had Wes and I were what ten hours in the saddle, I think, all in all, and poor old Wes had a puncture. Well, we're running run flat tyres, so we have a sealant that's in the tyre that's supposed to fill the hole. Well, it did fill the hole about ten times because it kept bursting, and then uh, in the end it just gave up. Um, luckily, it gave up after we'd had lunch with Sean in the support car and. For some bizarre reason, I left the inner tube, the only inner tube we have in the support car after we had carried it all morning. So half an hour after the car departed, the tyre burst and we had to wait by the side of the road for Sean to come all the way back and get us our inner tube. But apart from that, it was one hell of a day. It was one hell of an adventure and there were two very low points. Um, one, okay, we were ill this morning, self-inflicted I think, or the Van Rouge last night was off. Uh, we, we had a massive hill to climb and it was really hard on both of us and we got to the top and we got to a fantastic view with some hay bales or straw bales we were both pretty shattered and then our, our text went and we got a, a notification saying we had hit 75% of our target we've raised £1,500 and Wes and I were just euphoric when we saw that it was just thank you so much £1,500 I can't believe you 75% to a target, which I thought was nearly impossible. And then the same thing happened this afternoon. I think when Wes's tyre burst, we, um, we were pretty, well, I found it quite funny actually, but um, Wes was actually ready to come home. And, uh, but again, the text went and we'd had another donation. So thank you all so very much. Um, we are now off to eat probably 10 pizzas each. So thank you very much and Cheers, Mark. Right, last day, we are in Guyane Court. I'm getting picked on because of my hat, and you which like saves And apparently I look like Jimmy Cranky. Be careful, I can't see you. Uh, parked up in an Ibis car park. 
Kept the bikes here overnight. Had a fantastic stay in Ibis. No, we didn't. It was just an Ibis hotel. Had a fantastic pizza last night. And uh, we've got a hundred and... It wasn't fantastic either. Oh, no, it, it wasn't. Terrible. Yeah, it wasn't fantastic either. Wes moaned the whole time. No. Uh, got another 130k to do today. And then we're done. So, arriving at uh, Montages, hopefully about uh, five o'clock, if we're lucky. If we have no punctures. And if Wes doesn't have any punctures and moan and have meltdowns. Again. <laughs> Meltdowns! <laughs> I can't give him any more cuddles. Just right. 30 seconds. I needed a minute. <laughs> you need a minute. We keep having to have minutes away from each other. <laughs> it's been tested. Alright, see you later. Just heading out on the uh, final leg now. And um, it's an absolute scorcher. I'm hoping it should be alright. We're pretty stocked up on water. No concerns. Um, so, yeah. We'll uh, update you guys when we get to montages or if we uh, have any dramas beforehand. Whoa! Oh. You've got to sit here while he lets all the passengers off. Come on, let's go back to my wife and kids. I think all day. Woo woo! <laughs> Here he goes. I've all the engine. <laughs> you too young for I've all the engine. No, I'm not too young. Aren't you? You're only 12. 12 and a half, I bet you can't name any other characters on Ivor the Engine. I can name all of them on Bagpuss. This is just a little note to self about following Steve's directions. Um, really quite quite adamant that he's always going in the right direction. <laughs> we went to prison. <laughs> so we've just ended up in a French prison. Uh, <laughs> which you can't see because the bushes are there behind us. But... Uh, Let's just say we've had a tannoy go off explaining that we shouldn't be here. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully they don't arrest us. Let's try and get out now. <laughs> What's the time? Two o'clock French time. We've got how far we got left? We've got about 50 miles left. It is uh, 45. Oh, 45 miles left. It is tough today. It is hot, hot, and hot. We are being fried to death. 28 degrees. 28 degrees on the bikes, but we're nearly there. We keep getting notifications of donations. Thank you so much. It is keeping us going because we are within, uh, we're not in within touching distance of montages. If I say it, that we're in touching distance of montages, it makes us feel better. Three hours. That's in a car, we're on bikes. But anyway, we, we, we're getting there. Um, we both agreed it'd be nice if we could see a sign for montages. <laughs> Like it was a little bit closer. <laughs> We're still a long way away from montages. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. See you all soon. Last push. See you later, bye. Bye. Okay, so we are. He's making a video at the same time. This is what it's all about. We've been cycling for an hour and a half since we last saw Sean, and we've done a litre and a half of our water. We were literally run out, it's so hot. I think it's 30 degrees or something. Wesley being Wesley, very kindly pulled up with this so kind woman's house and bless her, not only she filled our water bottles up, she put ice in them. Here she comes with mine. Madame! Come on! Merci, madame! Oh no, mais regardez-moi ça! Famous on YouTube! Vous avez vu ma dégaine! Madame, merci! Je vais passer à la TV! Hein. Oui, 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 oui! oui. <laughs> Uh, BBC. Oh. Oh, what, a, what a star. Uh, par contre, vous auriez peut-être voulu... Here comes Wesley, bless him. He's on the grass. We've just had... Yesterday I said we had every type of terrain thrown at us. I lied. We didn't have these massive cobblestones. We've just had this for the last mile and a half. It's absolutely shaken us to pieces. It's but really, really horrible. It was really, really horrible. But uh, un unkind on the old rear end, definitely. It was unkind on the rear end, although it wasn't as unkind as when I slipped off the pedal yesterday. <laughs> 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 oh, I forgot about that. 
<laughs> yeah, I haven't forgotten about that. I'm still feeling it. Naomi, if you ever want children again, that ain't happening with me. <laughs> I'm still feeling that pain. But we swapped the cobbles for gravel. Our favourite. But there's a road. Hey. Absolutely enormous. Wes, can you please tell the camera why we have stopped when we were having a good old run? Well, we've stopped because I found a cannabis just growing wildly in France. Okay, I'm going to post this on the YouTube video. Can somebody please confirm, because I swear they don't grow cannabis. Can somebody please confirm what that is? Is that hemp? Or is that cannabis? If it is cannabis, I'm amazed they get away with growing in such a massive field. Is it legal in France to grow cannabis? Wes? I don't know. <laughs> it's legal to grow hemp. All right, someone please tell me. Is that hemp? Or is it cannabis? Or is it, may, may, maybe it's not either. Maybe it's... I'm not David Bellamy. I don't know. So the Garmin's have just gone off, telling me that I've hit 100k. So Steve should be coming around the corner at some point. And he should notice that he has also done 100k. Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hundred K Steve So we've come all the way to France and uh typically you always bump into someone you know. And look I've got to get my forty K's one sec. Who is it? Sean. And this kind gentleman has just got us some fresh water. Okay! <laughs> Mr. Sean Crawford! That won't bother with this. Okay, so it's uh, five to nine in Montages, France, and we're here. We've been here for about, <coughs> about an hour now. I'm just about to sit down and have lunch. We're just, dinner. Uh, sorry, dinner. Um, we just thought we'd make this video to say thank you to everybody for um, for supporting us along the way. Uh, genuinely, it's meant uh, it's meant a lot. It's meant a lot. Um, every single ping on the phone, text message, notification saying we've raised more money has been uh, pulling us along. So yes, a very quick thank you. And uh, the page is still open. So if there's anybody that hasn't donated, please donate. Is that it? I don't know, is that it? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank <Sure>. you. No, <laughs> no cameras, no, no cameras. BBC. No BBC. <laughs>